Hello Tikis. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new FTP directory by using create FTP directory action as part of FTP automation. Before going to learn about this action, let me show you a small use case over here. I have logged in into the FTP server that is 192.168.1.6 on my local. Now if you observe over here, I'm having directory over here that is documents. And if you see other directories, I'm having learning text actions, PDF automation, along with that, that I'm having directories project one and project two. If you observe in our previous tutorials, we have created these two directories manually. That is, I went to the physical path E colon FTP. And after that, I have created the folders with the name of project one and project two. But in the real time scenario, you can't go to the FTP physical path and then you can't create a new FTP directory or you can't create a new folder in the particular FTP directory. Now, how can I go ahead and do that by using Power Automate Desktop? Let's switch back to Power Automate Desktop. Here you can see I'm having an action called create FTP directory, which creates a directory on an FTP server. Now I want to create a new directory over here in a such a way project three, I need to create it. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters over here. The first parameter is the FTP connection. Now the FTP connection, I'm having open FTP connection flow variable, which we have created by using that action. That FTP connection variable having the IP address that is 192.168.1.6. That is my local FTP server. And after that, you can see another parameter new directory. What is the new directory you need to create? In my case, I want to create a new FTP directory with the name of project three, or I will give project Microsoft. All right. Now, if you see the variables to produce, I don't have any variables to produce over here. Let's go ahead. Let's click on save. Now, before running this flow, let me disable this existing actions or I'm going to delete this existing actions so that I can create a new FTP directory directly in the port in the FTP server 192.168.1.6. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started. And now you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Now let me go back to the FTP server. Now, if you see over here, I'm having the directory over here as project Microsoft, which is newly created. Now what you can do by using this directory, we can upload the files, we can download the files, or we can upload the folders as well as we can download the folders by using this directory from the particular FTP server. All right. Now I want to tell you one more thing over here. Now every user can go ahead and we can create the new FTP directory. There is a, some requirement over here that one of the authorization is required to create the FTP directory or to delete the FTP directory. Whenever we are going to create a new FTP directory for the particular user, I mean to say, if you see for the open FTP connection, I have used the username as FTP hyphen user for this user, you required the access to create the new FTP directory. How can we go ahead and we can set it? Let me click on cancel. Now let me go to IAS manager once again. Now we are going to work on the win FTP that is 192.168.1.6 is the FTP server. Now, once you will click on the if futures view, you will get it as FTP authorization rules. There you can see mode over here, allow and the users, you can see FTP user. For the particular FTP, I'm having only single user. Let, if you see the permissions over here, I'm having read and write. All right, that's the reason it is able to create a new FTP directory in the particular FTP server. Now what I'm going to do to make you understand, I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to remove the permissions, write permissions. So I'm going to remove it and then I'm going to click on OK. 
Now what will happen? I'm having only read permissions on the particular FTP server so that I can get the data, but I can't write the new FTP or I can download only the folders on files, but I can't upload the folders on files over there. Now, once again, I will show you one more thing over here. Now let me go to create FTP directory. I'm going to create one more project with the name of project Google. Now let's click on save. Once I will run this flow, what will happen? Actually, we need to create a new FTP directory in the particular FTP server. But the particular user, that is FTP hyphen user, don't have write permission so that he's unable to create a new FTP directory over there. Let me show you that. All right. Before that, once again, we'll go back to the FTP server. Let me refresh once again. You can't see project hyphen Google over here. Now, once again, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and the flow has been executed successfully. Now, let me go back to the FTP server and once again, refresh it. Now you can see you don't find the project hyphen Google directory over here because of the particular user don't have right permissions over there. Once again, I will go back to the authentication and then I'm going to click on right permissions. I'm going to give the for the particular user and then I'm going to click on OK. And then once again, let me run the flow once again to see the output. Flow execution started. Now the flow has been executed successfully. Now once you will refresh the FTP server, there you can find the directory project hyphen Google. All right. I hope you understand how to work with create FTP directory by using different user permissions as part of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to delete the FTP directory by using delete FTP directory action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.